Draymond Green is still talking about his sucker punch KO. I don't just hit people. Ain't nobody on my team triggering me, you know, in, a, in an instant. But we know stuff that you don't say amongst men. The Warriors power forward went from making a personal documentary about how he regretted the punch to justifying it in the span of under a year. Flashing back to 2019, and Green felt just a tad different about JP. But he don't stop talking. He does not stop, which is funny to me. So I see people get pissed off in practice. Like, oh man, he a rookie. He never, I've heard a few people say, he a rookie, he never shut up. And I just be sitting there like, good job, young fella. You got him mad. They don't like you talk. I remember being that rookie that wouldn't shut up, and everybody hated it. So, doing something right, young fella. Keep going. I just walk away smiling. It's great. During the Warriors' 2022 championship run, before Green laid hands on Poole, this clip displays how comfortable the newest wizard was in terms of motivating his then teammates in the huddle. After Bob Myers and Steve Kerr opted a suspension wasn't necessary for Draymond, then Green proceeded to lead the league in technical fouls in 22-23, it's no wonder Jordan lost his trust in the locker room, especially after he had his minutes decreased. Despite facing hate from Dubs Nation that he had merely received the bag and stopped giving effort, Poole still found a way to put up his first ever 20 point per game season this past year. While Draymond has continued to stir up bad press, saying he still has beef with newest warrior Chris Paul, JP hasn't uttered a word about the man who got him traded out of the Bay Area, even when he was asked about it. Have you heard from Draymond? The Washington Wizards' revenge artist and the soon-to-be 5th-year pro and 24-year-old Jordan Poole has karma on his side, and with clips being released of the newest Wiz kid polishing his craft in the gym, a breakout campaign where he puts up Allen Iverson-type numbers could very well be on the horizon. Knowing JP's mentality, having extensively covered the Warriors on this channel, and he needs a little bit of hate, a little bit of clap back at you inspiration to get his proverbial lawnmower revved up. Competing on the same team as a man who went from befriending him to stabbing him in the back like Harvey Dent in Draymond maybe was too much sideways energy for Poole to thrive off. Now, however, with a clear chance to prove both Green and the entire Warrior organization wrong for trading him away, Poole's motivations may be in the perfect position to give him every stick to his fire that he needs. Stay tuned. Right quick, just 14.6% of you are subscribed, so please subscribe, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and for a follow back, follow at Hoops on Instagram and Twitter. After Stephen Curry went on a good press rampage, stating his excitement about the Warriors, saying their team makes a lot more sense next year, and going on to win a championship in another sport, Draymond just couldn't let Steph or his team get any more positive limelight. Now, I was about to record a dubs video, and I'll still likely post it because the Warriors made some solid acquisitions, but if I know anything about one of my favorite players in Jordan Poole, it's that he's about to have a monster campaign in Washington with the ever-evolving chip that's on his shoulder. Draymond, in his 35-plus minute apology after the punch in early October of 2022, claimed he spoke to Jordan's family. Reports from JP's father and Anthony Poole in the form of this tweet claim that Draymond didn't have a single word to say to Poole's family, and in fact avoided them for the entire season. This message in response to the resurfaced video of Draymond played earlier from one of Jordan Poole's friends in Raylan Lamar reads, quote, He literally took us under his wing because of the Midwest connection and was over his house during the pandemic all the time and supposedly calls himself our OG and leader. You can see how proud he was in this video, but what changed? A lot of y'all hoop. How many times at practice you swung on your little homie like that? To be honest, we've been handling this way more player and mature than at Money 20. 23 green you a legend that condone this type of energy of quote unquote talking shit in this literal video but definitely had a moment of inexcusable failure of leadership as a brother slash teammate which was his best quality where your quote unquote leadership when you need him we rocked with you a lot which is why it's always been weird that you would have had such bad energy this way it's never made sense on this side end quote one thing i would add to that is it's very insane especially from an organization 
organization that's won four championships over the last decade that no suspension was given to Draymond, considering there was literal film of the punch happening. This was incredibly surprising even at the time, but I still tried to reason with the fact that Green had made a prolonged apology which stated he apologized to the Poole family. Now that it's been made clear that no apology was made to the Poole family, a non-suspension for such a publicized KO, not to mention from a man well above Jordan's weight class, is officially one of the craziest things ever. I mean, the Warriors had just re-upped Jordan to this massive contract and supposedly had committed their future to this kid that helped them win the championship. Therefore, how not only Draymond did JP, but how the Warrior organization did JP should act as a primary motivating factor for the newest wizard. Having said that, with every bit of motivation he needs to pinpoint, utilize, and look back on, what will JP average in 2023-24, can he make the Wizards relevant again, and what does he need to take the next step in his personal development? Jordan Poole may come off as flashy and arrogant when he performs for the baddies sitting courtside, but believe it or not, he's one of the more humble players in the NBA. The business aspect of the NBA got to him a little bit in Golden State in terms of how he let the media dramatics surrounding the punch get to his head. However, how can we blame the man with the recent news of Draymond not having apologized to his people getting released, and also the fact that Green is still talking about what happened? You can only imagine what Poole had to deal with internally. Surrounded by a young core in the likes of Kyle Kuzma, Tyus Jones, Denny Abdia, and Daniel Gafford, JP should fit in much better, with DeLon Wright, Danilo Gallinari, and Mike Muscala, a much less intimidating cast of veteran players will be under his wing as well. More so than anything, the free reigns Jordan will be given to thrive to the best of his abilities in terms of being able to create and let fly of as many shots as he wants under Coach Wes Unseld Jr. will be most beneficial. In the same spot as Bradley Beal being the number one option, expect Jordan to be one of the most valued players in fantasy basketball and to average around 25 points and 8 assists per game. Regarding his efficiency, and that's where his adaptation into being a number one guy may have its growing pains, but he nonetheless has the talent level and work ethic to mold into a guy who's very much capable of having that type of responsibility. An all-star appearance isn't out of the cards, as I'm not going to firmly predict that he'll make the Eastern Conference lineup when 2024's weekend comes about in Indianapolis, but given his combination of annually improving shot creation and newly granted opportunity, it's not the most unlikely of outcomes. What's important here is, for a player that proved about 27 general managers wrong for passing on him in 2019's draft, not to mention a take that he was the worst pick in that year's draft to be dead wrong, now, with the Warriors giving up on him, there's again another very evident motivating factor for Jordan Poole to look to. With the right group of less intimidating and more head-on straight people surrounding him in the nation's capital, things could be lining up for JP to take the next step to elite status at the guard position. Regardless, next season should be the most intriguing one in quite some time for fans of both Jordan and the Washington Wizards. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.